What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another movie review. I'm Chase Lee, reviewing for DallasMovieScreenings.com, and the movie I want to take a look at right now is Come to Daddy. Uh, no, it is not one of those types of films, so um, if you are listening to this review with no headphones and your speakers are just blasting throughout the house and there are other people in the house and make them want, and you want me to make them feel uncomfortable, this film's called Come to Daddy. Um, <laughs> It's from Saban Films. It's directed by Ant Timpson. This one stars Elijah Wood as he gets a, a letter from his estranged father to go visit him. He lives out in a cabin near the beachside. It's very isolated. There's not many people around. And so he knocks on the door. And his father, played by Stephen McCaddy, lets him in. And they just have a conversation and a heart-to-heart as to why he left the family and just all the damage that... Uh, internal damage that has been caused on Elijah Wood and even the father and just uh, how broken that relationship is. So go, uh, and by the way, that's all I'm going to tell you of the plot because this film takes unexpected twists, turns. It's just a fun roller coaster ride and I want you to experience it blind. Um, and especially when you see the film and you realize it goes here, there, up, down, and then it kind of, it sticks the landing super hard. You're like, wow, that was, that was a fun little movie. So, um, Yes, so going into this, uh, I really uh, liked the trailer to it because it kept it really contained, it's it really simple, Elijah Wood, Stephen McCaddy in a cabin arguing, maybe the tensions are going to run a little high, maybe someone's going to pull out a weapon, someone's going to do something, but it was going to be a, a suspenseful film, a thriller, even dipping into horror elements, uh, being unsettling and un- unnerving, a, just a pure genre picture. I like this film. I like it quite a bit. There are some issues, I think, with tone management and executing the genre elements of it while also maintaining this the core of the film, but I'll explain myself in just a second. But I like this film, and I didn't know anything going in. I saw the first trailer, and that was it. I was done, and I was really impressed. As a genre film fan, a horror film fan, I think um, Elijah Wood just loves doing these movies. You can definitely tell in his face, in the performance. Um, and he picks some really great projects. So, excuse me. Uh, director Ant Timpson. If you look at his filmography, he is known for creating genre films, over-the-top films, absurd films, in-your-face films, graphic, gory, whatever you want to call it. That is what he does. They're very stylish, uh, whether he's producing, directing, writing. He attaches his name uh, to some interesting projects. One of my favorite ones is uh, he was a producer on Turbo Kid, a movie that came out five years ago. I love that film. I saw it at a midnight screening at the Dallas International Film Festival, and I did not need coffee. (laughs) The movie kept me up, um, and I enjoyed every single second of it. I need to watch it again, but um, that is the type of filmmaker Ant Timpson is. So going into this and watching it and just knowing how it starts and seeing the journey that Elijah Wood takes with his father, I was like, okay, this is exactly what I expected from this filmmaker. But... The thing I actually liked about it the most, and not the actual genre elements were, or the over-the-top violence or uh, some of the absurd violence, I liked the emotional core to this film. If you look at it, the foundation of this entire thing is just a relationship between a boy and his father, especially a father he hasn't seen in like decades. That stuff got to me. It was sentimental, it was touching, it was poetic, and it was super sad at the very end before it cuts to the credits. I was actually really impressed that they were able to, uh, or he was able to get the performances out of the actors in that specific way, slow the movie down, let it breathe, let you absorb this relationship that's being displayed on screen. That stuff was awesome. So everything that he was having between his father, um, whether it be anger sadness, happiness, that's what I liked. I liked the relationship that was portrayed throughout the entire movie. And it's the type of ending that makes you want to call your dad as soon as the movie's done. You're like, that hit me in unexpected... I'm tearing up just thinking about it. That hit me in unexpected ways that uh, I did not see coming, and I actually liked that of the movie. I actually liked it more than the absurd moments. So... I will will say this. The reason why I'm going to dip my grade down about a half grade is that... Ant Timpson still makes this a genre film. It's suspenseful, it's crazy, it's wild, and I enjoyed most of that. There are some elements with the violence that are uh, extremely gory, graphic, and slightly hilarious, like, you know, darkly, uh, dark, uh, comedically, how would you even, 
darkly comedic. Um, I'm still thinking about the ending scene. Um, and it's just a, it's just a blend of all that. And you know, there are certain scenes like that. There are certain situations that they, that they get themselves in with like maybe certain people <laughs> in certain rooms. And it's supposed to be there to be over the top and absurd and just see how crazy the situation is. But I think it undercuts the emotional stuff just a hair to where when you have an ending like this and you think about the movie prior to that, there's some moments where like, ugh, I don't know. Like, did you really need to make it over the top like that in certain parts? I I, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just being a stickler. Some people are going to watch this review, watch the movie, like, man, you were an idiot. Like, there's nothing wrong with uh the tone management and the shifting here. I just thought maybe there was a couple of moments that undercut it just a little bit. When you end your movie like this, I mean, it almost makes me think like it should have been a different movie. I, I don't know. I still liked what I saw, but there are a few moments that um, are so over the top and absurd. And I even chuckled a little bit because of how absurd they were that when you get to the ending, I just, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe they could have been edited down or filmed different. I have no clue, but uh, that that's just how I feel about it. But that's that's my only complaint about that. I still think Ant Timpson created a stylish film. It's energetic. The story's interesting. Uh, you have no idea where it's going to go, so that makes it even more interesting. A really great film directing wise and seeing this clear clear vision and executing it properly. The acting is all around fantastic. Elijah Wood, Stephen McCaddy, some of the other ancillary characters that they uh, come in contact with. Everyone is so committed, especially Stephen McCaddy, as this drunk father who uh, I'm assuming he was not drunk at all while they were filming, but man, he pulled that off. Like he was abusive. He was disturbing. I, I hated him and he really went into his character as much as he could and it was very manipulative towards his son and it was just kind of sad that under uh, underlying sadness that happens, it's just, uh, it's hard to watch. And Elijah Wood is always committed in these types of roles, uh, really going places that you never think that he would go. Like, he keeps one-upping himself, and uh, he has a lot of fun with these movies, and you can you can have fun with that because they're just so committed. But everyone, fantastic job. I like the way the movie's shot. Um, it, it's a very, uh, very clean-looking movie. There's nothing really off about the cinematography. It's uh, it's really saturated in certain colors and certain aspects. Uh, most genre films are. It really kind of emphasizes the craziness and the wildness of the film. Um, the music is really well done. The practical effects are effective, and some of them are really gross and disturbing. Um, but once again, that's the genre lifestyle, and I, I love that. So despite me having a couple of issues with uh, tone management and shifting and how it actually plays into the overall theme of the movie. I still like this movie and I still would recommend it to people. I'm going to give it a B minus. Um, but yes, uh, come to daddy. So if uh, you were watching that and uh, you you asked someone if you could watch that and you're like, we're not watching porn in this house. And you tell them, no, it's not that type of movie. It's not that type of movie. So um, come to daddy. I'm going to give a B minus. Uh, highly enjoyed this one. One I like the fact that Saban um, is not just making or distributing Power Rangers movies. And they're actually, you know, dipping their toes into all these, you know, kind of weird kooky uh, films that they're picking up everywhere. So Saban, keep it coming. I, I love it. So let me know down below what you thought of come to daddy. And uh, if you liked it, loved it, whatever, subscribe to the channel, like this video so you can get up to date on whenever I drop any type of movie review and I'm Chase Lee reviewing for DallasMovieScreenings.com and tune in next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.